We are the Lethbridge High School iGym team. We are made up of grades 10 to 12 students from various schools around our city who all have a passion for synthetic biology. Researching and discovering solutions to world issues through STEM technologies is what we work towards. We present BOFIND, a rapid detection device for the identification of bovine respiratory diseases. Alberta is home to over 1.56 million beef cattle and is one of the largest economic drivers of the province, particularly southern Alberta, where Lethbridge is located. Bovine respiratory disease is the most common disease affecting feedlot cattle and accounts for 40% of all cattle mortalities in feedlots. Economic losses have been estimated to be more than $1 billion annually in the U.S. due to BRD. The four most common bacterial pathogens that cause BRD are Mannheimia hemolytica, Histophilus somni, Pasteurella multocyta, and Mycoplasma bovis. These organisms are spread through direct cow-to-cow -cow contact with infected respiratory secretions and from contaminated water and feed. Infections eventually lead to pneumonia and death. Early and accurate diagnosis is critical to ensure prevention of worsening symptoms and transmission to the herd. Current methods for the detection of BRD is mostly by monitoring behavioral changes in the cattle. Symptoms include nasal and ocular discharges, coughing, head tilt, and abnormal or rapid breathing patterns. However, these methods are not always accurate. Isolation of BRD pathogens from infected cattle can lead to a more concrete diagnosis, but this involves nasopharyngeal sampling of the infected cattle, traditional bacteria culture techniques, and PCR verification of the bacteria isolates. While these methods are exceptionally accurate, they are very time-consuming. We spoke with Dr. Kim Stanford, a leading cattle researcher at the University of Lethbridge. She applauded our desire to design a new detection platform for BRD and suggested we focus on the most important pathogens associated with bovine respiratory disease to give the greatest impact for producers. Our original bovine solution was to use LAMP, or loop-mediated isothermal amplification, to rapidly detect BRD pathogens on site at the feedlot. This method does not require repeated temperature cycling like PCR, and can give us results in under an hour. However, after discussing our proposed lamp-based detection kit with Dr. Tim McAllister, a cattle researcher from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, he suggested using a different isothermal method called recombinase polymerase amplification. This technique only uses two primers for detection and is much easier to use than lamp. Our new proposed solution would use recombinase polymerase amplification to detect genes from the four main BRD pathogens. Samples prep would be minimal and results would be available within one hour. First, a vet would collect a sample using a nasal pharyngeal swab. Next, the swabs are placed in collection tubes with a prepared lysis buffer solution. Samples are then heated in our handheld unit for 10 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. The sample is then dispensed into individual detection tubes. The number of tubes will depend on the number of pathogen types you wish to detect. Pathogen DNA is then amplified using RPA by incubating the detection tubes at 37 degrees for 30 minutes. The amplified DNA is detected by the color change of hydroxynaphtha blue from violet to sky blue. In collaboration with Dr. Tim McAllister and Cheyenne Conrad from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, we chose to use these primers set to identify the different BRD pathogens. These genes were selected due to their specificity for that organism. Our next step will be to use different E. coli strains to test our sample preparation techniques. Will we be able to get sufficient DNA for downstream amplification with no prior culturing step? We would also like to test our detection method using hydroxynaphthal blue using purified DNA from the BDR pathogens. We will also have to go through a few engineering build test cycles to ensure that our handheld detection unit functions as needed. The cattle industry in Alberta is a significant contributor to the province's economy and its operations have a notable impact on the environment. Aligning with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, responsible agriculture is key to promoting sustainable practices within the industry. Our project specifically targets the reduction of antibiotic use in livestock, which is a major concern globally. 
Currently, agriculture accounts for more than 40% of all antibiotics produced, and mitigating this usage is necessary for combating antimicrobial resistance and preserving environmental health. Medical and scientific waste contribute significantly to climate change and pollution. Therefore, we would like to produce our device using recycled and biodegradable materials. Since our device will contain pathogen DNA, it is important that all waste is collected and disposed of properly. We envision a recycling program in collaboration with vets and farmers. We envision our product will mainly be used by veterinarians and government researchers to monitor disease in cattle populations and provide treatment. Producers could also quickly use Bofind on-site to diagnose the disease and give the correct antibiotics to prevent symptoms from worsening. Since Bofind can help identify which bacterial pathogen is present, it can help prevent the spread of antimicrobial resistant genes, which can pose a threat to public health and limit the effectiveness of current antibiotics.